Okay, I have a fun one for you today. Gonna be doing an Ikea haul. We went and shopped and looked at all the things, and I'm excited to share with you what I bought. So one of the fun things about Ikea that you may or may not know is that the first part of the store is considered their showroom. So they have it sectioned off like it would be rooms in a house. So they have a like office section and kitchen section. And in these spaces, you get to look at their furniture and fixtures, touch them, feel them, try them out. And then downstairs is the marketplace where you can actually put items in your cart, small housewares and things of that nature. I don't come to Ikea that often, so I often shop the whole store just to see what's out in the display, but then actually do most of my shopping in the marketplace. Okay, I'll start off. I got a couple plants. These are both indoor plants that are supposed to be good with low light. This one is a Eglinonema. I think I'm saying that right. I like the red accent. And this one, my father-in-law says, is a really good low light. It's made the phyla. Uh, a little tag on the shelf said it's also known as a peace lily. So, got those two. I think they were each $13.99, $14.99, which I thought was a righteous price. Okay, so here we are. We got the iconic Ikea blue bag. Couldn't really feel like I could leave there without the blue bag. I thought about it, but then I caved at the last minute. Uh, a couple things that didn't fit in the bag. I got this selfie stick holder thingy with the ring light attached. Now it's like 35 bucks. I'd seen somebody who gotten it online and I thought, you know, that's really cool. So I got that. Got another step stool. Andrew saw this and said it should come home with us. A family full of short people. You can never have too few step stools. And then as for what's in the bag, I've got some cutting mats because I got rid of a few of ours when we decluttered the kitchen. I got these really cool double walled glasses. Again, I'd seen these in a video and I love the double walled glasses that we already own, but I like the size. Sometimes I don't want one that is quite as big. This is what they look like. And they are heat safe, so Drew can use it for his tea if he wants to. And they're dishwasher safe and all the things. So we got two in a box, and we got three boxes. So we got six of those. Let's see. So, you know, again, just decluttered the kitchen, but we, it was kind of good because I knew what we had and what we didn't have. And we're kind of a little short on spatulas. So I got this one, so we don't have one like it. Same thing, another kitchen utensil, just a wooden spoon. I like the shape, I like that it's not too long. Set of microfiber towels, because they were a good deal. I think they were like two bucks. I like the colors. With both Andrew and I wearing glasses now, we go through, or use I should say, a lot of microfiber cloths. This is just an outlet extender or multiplier. I actually do need one of these right now. So this was a nice find. Oh, uh, just your regular old uh, toilet bowl cleaner here, toilet brush, nothing too fancy. You know, for some of the stuff at Ikea, the price is right, so got that. And then I looked a lot at their glass containers, and we really don't need very much, but we really like these flip top containers. They have a little rubber seal, so I got this size, I got one this size, and I got one this size. This is the one I'm most excited about because we don't have anything like it currently. So, you know, Andrew's been using these for putting his tea, his loose leaf tea in. So, got those. Getting to the near the bottom here. So we each got a chocolate bar. I got milk chocolate. Um, Andrew got dark chocolate. He said it tasted pretty good. Uh, he already opened his. He said it wasn't the worst he tasted, not the best either. I tasted it, I thought it was fine. So I'm excited to give this a try. I don't prefer dark chocolate, I like milk chocolate. And then some of you may or may not know that I am actually of Swedish heritage. So anytime I go to Ikea, I'm always looking for Swedish themed things like, you know, culturally Swedish, not just, you know, Swedish made American. And this is a tote bag with the dollar horse. So I had to get that. They have more of that kind of stuff at Christmas time, but they had a few items there today. These are luggage tags. And I thought how original and unique and of course again the dollar horse shaped we're gonna do more traveling hopefully soon so i don't think very many people will have these on their bags this is just totally an impulse purchase pickup it is a very portable lightweight phone stand so you set it on the table and then you can well i can't do it now because i'm filming on my phone 
but then you can put your phone in there. So I got that tub in my office because it doesn't take up too much space. And then I got a rainbow bag. They had this size and then they had a like a big, large size, kind of like, well, not quite as big as the Ikea bag, but pretty big. And we've been doing the farmer's market more lately. So I thought this would be good to take with the farmer's market. And of course, love the rainbow. And then last but not least, we got the, let's see if I can pronounce this. I haven't really attempted any of the other names. A Vinstrike, a Vinstrika, Vinstrikera. It's an air duster. So apparently you plug this in and uh, it'll give you a reading on your air quality. And this was a little pricey. I wanna say it was $49.99, but Drew inspected it and he said, yeah, let's give it a whirl. So yeah, that's everything we got at Ikea. I mainly went looking to get these glasses and the phone holder and then everything else you know finds a way in the cart.